hello and welcome everyone into the lab view exercises today's video will be very short ones in this video we will just see how to plot data on waveform charts and graphs and xy graphs in lab view so we will be gonna use waveform chart waveform graph xy graph and express xy graph so this will be the very basic ones in which we will see how to deploy the um, plots and how to deploy the data and plot the data on the waveform charts and graphs in lab view so it will give us the basis to do our next exercise on the properties of these waveform charts and graphs so i will just try to uh, do it quickly and give you the insights basically so the ones who are uh, start from the very basics can just cope with it so right now if i just run my program in here it is just showing me a different charts and graphs that is uh, creating something on our graphs and this one is creating very messy but we'll see from the very basics and let's just go on to our new vi let's just load our previous vi and then here we will place our waveform chart from uh, so that we can just start from it so here is our waveform chart so waveform charts are basically used to uh, present the data point by point which means that it uh, uh, i can just illustrate you that what does it means to uh, display the data point by point if i just give it a delay of one second let's just consider that here is uh, the delay of one second now I will try to interpolate or uh, or uh, display some data on this waveform chart here I am using a random number generator which is basically given already given function in lab view so here is its minimum and maximum limit it starts from zero and ends up to the hundred so here if I just run my program as you can already see that uh, it is automatically generating the data so of course we can just control the uh, data points and its space which will of course we will see these things into our next video in which we will see how to interpolate or manipulate its properties of the waveform charts and graphs so this is the one for using for uh, the point by point data which means that after one second the next point is just displayed on our uh, on our waveform chart if i just turn on the visible and then i can just uh, show its digital display which means that it is showing me that every second uh, it is just changing the value and it is just shown on the waveform chart now we will see how the waveform graphs are works so if i just put a waveform graph in here as well let's just consider that this is our waveform graph and now i want to put the data on the waveform graph so if i just put it inside of the loop and i just try to connect it with the waveform graph now it is giving me an error the waveform graph basically doesn't accept the data in the form of point by point it accepts the data in the form of an array so what I'll do is I'll just delete the wire and put it inside of the for loop and let's just consider that this is our reform chart that is creating some data and this data is let's just uh, suppose that uh, this is this will create 10 data points so this loop will uh, iterate for the 10 times and after 10 times the outer loop will reinitiate this loop so between that we can just create a, a auto index tunnel and i just can connect it with the waveform graph and now it can uh, show me the data as well so right now that's how the data is displayed on the waveform graph but we cannot control in this way we cannot control the x-axis of our waveform graph what if i just want i didn't want to uh, put the data on the one let's just say i want to control its size size means uh, if i would just want to display the next point on our 0.5 and then one and 1.5 and something that so 
what does it means is uh, what I can do for it is I can use uh, our waveform build waveform function in which I will just do is I can just sim simply just give it uh, the y point uh, let's just consider that this is our y point and if I just drag it down in here it says that just like the attributes so I can just start uh, set the starting time also I can just set our dt value or yes I can just set the dt value so what will be our dt value is I can just set the difference between the time so I, it means that if I just set it in here as 0 0.5 and uh, let's just create a constant for the starting time if I just create a constant of the for the starting times it will just give me so here is our waveform graph 2 if I just connect that in here now another waveform graph is being generated so exactly as you can see right now the waveform graph changes uh, with the time difference of 0 0.5 so that's how we can also control this time difference uh, by using this by, by creating this way and and now we will see how to plot the data on our xy graphs so xy graphs means you must have to uh, define the x-axis and y-axis of this graph so for the x-axis and y-axis it means that you must have to give an array a set of data to the x-axis as correspondence to the y-axis so here we will use the bundle function in lab view so let's just consider that the first input uh, node uh, the terminal here is our x-axis so for this one i will give the iterations basically since we know that this is the loop that will run for uh, <clears throat> 10 times uh, then uh, from 0 to 9 uh, so this is our from the array from 0 to 9 which is automatically indexed and similarly this is the value that is giving me the y terminal uh, sorry the y-axis values which is our random number generator and then automatically indexed so I can again just control uh, my xy graph so it is now connected at in here now if I run my program as you can see it is just showing me on the xy graph as well as well as on the waveform graph so here might be you can see that the values or the shapes or the trends are same but i'm just giving you the idea that how the different graphs can be displayed or how we can just put the data on these waveform graphs so there are some other ways as well let's just consider that if we have to put our data on xy graph uh, and um, let's just consider that again we have to just control the interspaces as well so what we can do is we can uh, in the real time we can use our express graph as well so for the express graph we must have to select the express graph as well so let's just consider that this is our express graph and this one i can just delete it out so here is our express graph so what is the express graph actually is so in express graph we have uh, the functionality to control the reset or not to reset and this is already in enable mode so we can just put the data on x-axis and y-axis by creating uh, the arrays in real time let's just go to an array and there we will find out insert into an array function so here we have an array function which is just will be used for creating an array in the real time which means that it doesn't need to be uh, inside of the for loop so it this entries will be our new entries uh, let's sorry this will be not our new entries let's just consider that again i just want to uh, multiply that with this one and then multiply that with the two and this will be our new entries for the x-axis and as for the indexes it will be like 0 1 2 3 4 and uh, i will be just using this one as for the reference as well so this will be acting as my x-axis 
as far as the y axis i can again use the same thing as uh, my random number generator uh, and for the random number generator i can just add it directly in here and then it will work fine let's just run the program here and now it is just creating me the waveform graph trend on my this if uh, xy graph let's just consider that what happens if i just uh, turn on false of this reset button so what will happen is it will of course create the waveform graph but it is not resetting so every time it is just plotting the new lines with upon the previous ones so it is getting messy and it is not understandable what this graph is trying to convey us so these are the different ways to show the data or the uh, manipulate the data and express on waveform graphs so one other way or the last way that i'm trying will be showing you is uh, again i will go and use the express graph uh, upon which i'm gonna use uh, the census data let's just consider that we have if i just go to um, express and there we will have it input and then we have a simulate signals so let's just consider that if we are acquiring the data from some sensors then what will happen so here we have again uh, the sensors data as a sine wave we have a set of data basically then it is connected that in here and similarly i can just give it an input to the x-axis and uh, if i just go on to my front panel here is the uh, this xy graph is not updating we are we cannot see anything on this xy graph in here because of one property we are missing if i just go and right click on create constant here it is updating every time the uh, data it is putting on the xy graph so it is basically plotting one point and then we cannot see it because it is just updating time by time so if i just turn off this function and then again just go on to front panel and run the program here now it is updating according to the requirement that it is uh, after one second it is just trying to update and uh, reach up to one since we are right now generating a sine wave so if we just reduce the time then the sine wave could be uh, could be uh, just form in some more faster rate uh, so now as you can see that this is the sine wave that is being generated all right so now this time we will talk about what if we didn't have only one plot but if we have multiple plots in here like this is the line in here and i want to plot the same data on the same axis within the same graph then what we can do here i have what what i have just done is uh, i used a uh, second random number generator and i just clean up the diagram so uh, let's just talk about how we can just uh, show two um, data plots on one xy graph or waveform graph what we all need to do is first uh, generate one trend and then all you can do is use um, build array function so build array function allows you to um, combine or merge uh, the two uh, waveforms or the two data sets basically so this could be your second data set and now you want it the first data sets so again uh, you must have to use the same um, uh, what i can say is, is uh, you have to use again the same uh, bundle error functions so, so sorry you must have to use the bundle function which is available in the cluster in class and variant and uh, then you must have to define again the its x-axis and its y-axis again so here is my random number generator as a y-axis and x-axis is same as the iteration terminals of the first 10 iterations so then this will be our first trend and this will be our second trend which is from coming from this random number generator and then i can easily input my xy graph so now this is our xy graph that will show me the two trends on the same graph 
so now if i run my program as you can clearly see that there are two lines that are overlapping each other because of the random number of generators and random data sets that are available in here so if you just drag out in here you can also see the plot one is in the of the red color and plot zero is of the white color so that is how you just plot multiple uh, uh, data points or data sets onto the one graph so as i said earlier we will also see uh, that what are the properties and how we can manage or manipulate our excel graphs looking and all the features uh, in other video so now one thing that is remaining is what if we have only a single data point we want to show it on our xy graph then we will, we will do is uh, i will use the same xy graph let's just say that this is my xy graph and uh, this is my build array function which is express build array xy graph and now what i will do is I will I have another XY graph which is available in here and now this time this will be only one data set so I will just drag it down in here and this time I will create numeric controls let's just say I want to control the position of a pointer basically so a single point so this will be my let's just say the x-axis and this will be my y-axis so as for the single points so now this is my x point and this is my y point uh, and i can give the its output my xy graph and reset create a constant of resetting uh, is true right now so now if i just go on to my front, front panel and run my program and change anything from here we cannot see the dot basically or the point or any changes on this xy graph 3 so what we need to do is we will go to plot and then we will select the point style i will also explain how we can change the point style what what are the point styles in the uh, other video in which i will explain the properties of these waveform graphs so here is the point style so as you can see right now uh, the point is visible in the white color but still we are not uh, it is not distinguishable because of the lines that are available so I will go to its properties and of the XY graph and there I will find out the scales. On the scale palette we have this grid style and colors. I will choose the simple ones that will remove its background colors and remove the lines and again I will use the amplitude and as a Y axis and also remove these lines as well. So now it is more clearly visible to me this white point that is available in, the, in between these points. So now if I run my program in here and still changes something now the position of this point doesn't change still i'm changing the values but it is changing the x scale and y scale so now again i will stop my program go to its properties and there i will find out that in the plot uh, in the scale section we have auto scale check mark so it means that it is updating the uh, x and y scales automatically without my command so i'll just uncheck this and use the values by my defined values let's just say that it should be um, scaled in within the 0 and 10 so our x scale is just defined and like in the similar way i will also define the my y scale so here we have y scale as 0 to 10 and now if i just press ok uh, here i will find out if i run my program right now if i just change my x-axis the point right now changing exactly so it means that we can also programmatically control this point so to make any game or anything within this or according to our requirement or research or whatsoever we want so that is how basically we plot the data on xy graph